Well, one of the reasons K-State was able to win in Ames is their defensive effort was the best that had been all season long. Well, the girls' pass is picked off, and Butler takes it the other way. Shot clock down to five. Step back, Teague from the corner. Good. Well, he came to Baylor to play in an NCAA tournament. Obviously, last year in March, with things being shut down, he hasn't had that opportunity as a collegiate yet. Well, a much better possession there as Bradford stuffs it for K-State. The girls shot well off the mark right side there. Wow. Good so far, particularly on the defensive end for Bank. And the turnover right there. But he talked about maybe substituting more liberally early in the game and not having Flagler may affect that, but they don't need him right now. Going back to Baylor, the, their experience, right, particularly at the guard position, makes you think that they can overcome the, the layoff stretch. And one opportunity for Flo Thamba. Chachua put that back in. That's the fourth offensive rebound already for Baylor. Catch and shoot three. Rudy Williams. And that guy has been a stabilizer for them off the bench this year. And after enough practice time, he settled in. And he's been really good in games. Nice move there by Mitchell, the hesitation. Won't get a lot of run. A lot of those guys will redshirt and wait their turn, but not Cryer. He's ready to play right now and score. Second bucket for Gordon. Nice feed from freshman Selton Miguel. Skip the beat. And you're concerned maybe not being as sharp defensively or offensively, taking quick shots. But, Mark, here's, here's what's happening with Baylor. This is one of the things offensively that makes them so special. Things downhill. Butler keeps his dribble alive, pick and roll. K-State slow to rotate. And you have skilled basketball players making the right plays at the right time and then the athleticism right there. Chachua, who is at 6'8", and uh, Selton Miguel really had no chance there, and they there they are again with Chachua. Three-year Juco kid, maybe four, depending on if you... Oh, Chachua. Jeez. Catch and shoot three. This is from Gordon. Quick outlet, here comes Mitchell. Here's a lob, Chachua finishes it off. Chacho is going rim running right down the middle of the floor and gets behind the K-State defense. Mitchell. And that should count. And what a half for Baylor. Bradford and Damba tangled up. Bradford kept it alive. Miguel finds McGurl, gets it back from McGurl, and banks in a three. <laughs> well, they've got multiple opportunities. We saw the first half domination on the glass, and they'll make you pay. Deshaun Gordon came down with it, but had time to go back up and lay it in. But, yeah, but what I was going to say, that's not going to continue. That's not going to be the trend with him. Nice play right there. Yeah, nice on the inbounds to Miguel. Put that high off the glass in it. I've been watching in the last few possessions defensively. He's been pretty sound for the most part down here. Drive and a lay in. Mark Vital. Christy Clark recently retired. We wish him the best. He's going to finish his degree at Baylor studying sword si uh, sports psychology. That's good. There's the lay in for Rudy Williams. But he but, has developed it right. even more but since. Like his explosiveness is, um, for a guy who's already a good athlete, is noticeable. Got a lot of work to do on the boards to reach that. Batted around into the hands of Mitchell and up ahead, Teague slams it. They seal Teague early, right? They got Baylor rolling on the offensive end. After Texas, the road uh, still difficult for Oklahoma State, as you would expect in, in conference play. You know, co coaches obviously have to take it one at a time, but just like us, they look at those stretches. Gordon's game today, that, it's going to pay dividends, obviously, for him and his confidence, but just as important how the coaching staff feels about him moving forward. Laid in by Matthew Meyer. Miguel to Antonio Gordon. K-State, number 14. So has Joe Petrakis, the other walk-on. Antonio Gordon gets it back for the Wildcats. And one.
There you go. And Baylor's going to improve to 5 0, win their conference opener. And K State drops to 3 and 5 and 1 and 1. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.